Greetings and salutations from the D. What we have today is a eBay find. I think you'll be excited to see what we have here. I know I was when I saw it. Look at that. It's an atomic mic body with a bullet man head. I got this character for 14 bucks on eBay. Got an exciting project coming up. I want to make my own bullet man because I've never had one. So that's what this is going to be all about. So stand by. Welcome to the Toy Soldier Outpost. Today we're going to be reviewing these two bullet men that I've created, kit bashed if you will. Since I never really had this figure in my youth and the price of them are, is just too much to pay for some plastic dolls, I've went ahead and I've designed my own. This figure here was the first one I created. You might remember him from my adversary build video. He's the guy I used as Bullet Man's ill-begotten brother who went sideways. And I named him Win Winchester after the shotgun shell. But he's uh, he's in a Max Steel body. He's got the Cotswold JFK head. I thought that would be a good uh, replacement Bullet Man head. And I got this helmet here off of eBay. It's a plastic helmet. Uh, they go for four or six bucks plus uh, four dollars shipping. It was like ten bucks altogether. And then I got one of those chrome markers and kind of chromed it out. And then since uh, he's really not going to play the part of a bullet man, I didn't put the sticker on him. I just went with this. Cotsworld uh, emblem. I painted that. And he's got Cot Cotsworld World boots on. And then just a miscellaneous belt that I had. And then I found these jumpsuits on eBay. Not too shabby for a re reboot. Then this guy here, I was really happy with the way he turned out. He's got the Max Steel body, and we was able to find a uh, Atomic Man head, or not Atomic Man, but Bullet Man head. And I got some Cotsworld. Pants and knee pads, and just some miscellaneous boots I had laying around. And then I went with one of those uh, Amazon Buzz Lightyear belts that go to the spacesuit. Then I got these stickers off of eBay. It was like eight bucks and two two fifty shipping. Pretty nice stickers. Then I went with one of those. They're metal helmets. I believe they're uh, electroplated in chrome. And uh, they, they come out of Canada. So I got got the guy uh, to sell one to me for, it was 15 bucks. And I think it was uh, $9 shipping. 
out of Canada. It's pretty nice though. I really like these helmets. As you can see the difference in the in the two. This is the guy I used for that first character. He's a uh, some type kind of 2020 bullet man. Never really seen him before. But I like the way he looked. And I'll show you a picture of the other bullet man. So and this is the uh, where I got the ideal for the other bullet man. I think he's one of those three and three quarter GI Joes. I've never seen this guy before either. Y'all can leave in the comments if you know where these characters formed. It's a pretty good likeness. But that's what I've come up with. Uh, I thought, thought they looked pretty nice. This one here is definitely a little smaller than this guy. This guy is really robust. I really like the way he turned out. So let me know in the comments if you like these characters, if you're opposed to them, or you don't care one way or another. Uh, just leave some feedback so a brother knows what, what direction he's going in. But if you like these videos as much as I like making them, consider subscribing to the page. Also, I'll leave links in the description where I got most of this stuff. Uh, the, the bullets and the shotgun shells were provided by Avon. Until the next video, I am out.